deeper and deeper, deeper sleep, far asleep, deeper and deeper, fully relaxed, all muscles are relaxed, you're comfortable, relaxed, you will not be anxious or distressed, but you will remember everything and you will tell me everything. Yes. I think I will stop. I will stop. And I have not stopped. And Betty said, Look, there's a star moving. And I look and I see a star. It's funny. But I said, Betty, that's a satellite. We are seeing a satellite. And then I pulled over to the side of the road. And Betty jumped off her side, on her side, with the binoculars. And I got the chain. And I hooked it to the dog on her collar. And I say, come on, Dulcie. Let's get out. She jumps out. And I look toward the sky, and I look back to Dulcie, and walk her around the trunk of the car. And I'm saying, hurry up, Betty, so I can get a look. And Betty passes the binoculars to me. And I see that this is not a satellite. It is an airplane. It is an airplane you can see. I think you can see the rows of windows. And it is an airplane, and I tell Betty this, and give the binoculars back to her, and I am satisfied, and I drive, and Betty is still looking, and she says, Barney, that is not plane, it is still following us, and I stop, and I look, and I see it is still out there, off in the distance, so I search for a place to pull off the road, and I see a dirt road to the right of the main highway. And I think this is a good place I can pull off. And if any car comes, I, it won't strike me. And I am thinking, this is strange, because it is still there. And Betty said, I think she said, I am mad with her, I said, I believe Betty is trying to make me think this is a flying saucer. Was it light enough to see? It was just a light moving through the sky. I heard no noise, and I think this is ridiculous, and Betty, it is not a flying saucer. What are you doing that for? You want to believe in this thing, and I don't. And. I can't 
hear any sound. No sound, whatever. I can't, I want to hear a jet. Oh, I want to hear a jet so badly. I why want do you, to hear it. Why do you want to hear a jet? Because Betty is making me mad. She is making me angry. Because she is saying, look at that. It's strange. It's not a plane. Look at it. And I keep thinking it's got to be. And I want to hear a hum. I want to hear a motor. How far away was it? It was, oh, it wasn't far. It was about a thousand feet, I guess. A thousand feet? A thousand feet. Did it go back and forth, or did it go in circles like a it plane does? It would go toward the west, and without looking as if it turned, it would come straight back. It would go like a, uh, uh, I think of a paddle and a ball with a rubber. And you hit the ball, and the ball goes straight out and comes straight back without a circle. And I think only a jet could fly that fast. And I am hoping I can find a good place where I can stop and really see this thing, whatever it is. And I see a wigwam, and I recognize this place, and I feel safe. I feel blessed in the barren hostility. What is this place? What an area. What is this place? It is Indian Head. I had been there before and I feel comforted that I see a familiar place. And I think I will get a good look at this because Betty was very annoying. She was annoying by telling me to look and I can't look. I have to drive the car. I want to wake up. You're not going to wake up. You're in deep sleep. You're comfortable. Relax. This is not going to trouble you. Go on. You can remember everything now. It's right over my right. God. What is it? And I try to maintain control so Betty cannot tell I am scared. God, I'm scared. It's all right. You can go right on and experience it. It will not hurt you now. I got to get my gun. Your gun. This is going to harm you, you felt. 
I open the trunk of my car and I get it. And I get back in the car. All right, just keep reasonably yeah. calm. And I put it in my coat. And then I get out with the binoculars. And it is there. And I look. And I look. And it shifts over. And I think, I'm not afraid. I'll, I'll shoot it down if I'm not afraid. And I walk, I walk out, and I walk across the road. There it is up there. Oh, God right. damn it. Calm down. Calm down. It's there. But you can see it, but it's not going to hurt you. Go on. Why doesn't it go away? Look at it. It doesn't matter. Calm, calm. It's not going to hurt you. It has a man. Is he, is he, is he a captain? What is he? feet away? Oh no. A thousand yards? It doesn't look that far. It's very big and it's not that far. And I can see it tilted toward me. Tilted? And what does it look like now? What do you say tilted? Did you see it wings? Looks like a big, big pancake with windows and rows of windows and lights of not not, not light, just one huge light and rows of windows like a commercial plane. Rows of windows, they're not like a commercial plane because they curve around to the size of this pancake. And I say, my God, no, I, I have to shake my head. I got to, I got to, it can't be true, this isn't fair. It, Oh, it's still there. And I look up and down the road. Can somebody come and tell me this is not there? It can't be. And it's oh You're still asleep, but you can see it all clearly. It's there. You sure it's there? Yeah. You weren't having a dream? It's there. You'd had no sleep that evening? I... I touch my right arm. It's not my right, it's my left arm. And then I touch my... right arm. And it is my... left arm. I'm confused. You're clear now. We're relaxed. It's still there. If I let my binoculars fall and dangle from my neck and then start over again, maybe it won't be there. But it is. Why? What do they want? What do they want? They... One... 
person looks friendly is friendly looking and he's looking at me over his right shoulder and he's smiling but, but that could you see him clearly yes i thought what's his face like what does it make you think of it's round I think of, I think of a red-haired Irishman. I don't know why, but I think I know why. Because Irish are usually hostile to Negroes. And when I see a friendly Irish person, I react to it by thinking I will be friendly. And I think this one that is looking over his shoulder is friendly. You say looking over his shoulder, was he facing away from you? Yes, he was facing a wall. And you, he, you saw him through this window, or you said there was a row of windows? It was a row of windows, just a huge row of windows, only divided by uh, struts or structures that prevented it from being one solid window. Or then it would have been one solid window. And the evil face on the, he looks like a German Nazi. He is not. Did he have on a uniform? Yes. What kind of uniform? He was black. He had a black scarf around his neck, dangling over his left shoulder. You pointed it out as if it were on you. I never noticed that before. He had a black scarf on his neck. How did you see these figures so clearly at that distance? I was looking at him with binoculars. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did they have faces like other people? You say one reminded you of a red-headed Irishman. His eyes were slanted. I see it so. His eyes were slanted, but not like a Chinese. What was Betty doing all this time? I, I, I'm not close to her. I don't know. You're out I there by yourself, huh? You yeah. don't think of her. Is she saying anything? I can't hear her. Did you make any outcry to her, the way you did to me? I, 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 I can't remember. I don't know. I did not. You would remember it if you did. I, I did not. But I know this, this creature, this leader is telling me something. He's telling you something. How? How is he getting it to you? I can see it in his face. Do you see his lips me? move? Yes. No, his lips aren't moving. Yes, go on. He's telling you. And he's looking at me. But what did he tell you? Stay there and keep looking. Just keep looking and stay there. And just keep looking. Yeah. Just keep looking. Did, could you hear each other? Oh, I got to pull these binoculars away from my eyes. Because if I don't, I'll just keep staying there. 
Did you hear him tell you this? Oh, no. He didn't say it. You felt he said it? I it? know. You know he said it? Just there, yeah. Just stay there. He's saying to me. It's all right. I'll take it my head. Just all go right. Pull the binoculars away. God, give me strength. All right. All pull right. it down. Run. Pull the binoculars down and run. God. It says, my God, give me strength. i got to get away. Oh. Oh. Babe. All right. All right. got to get away, babe. All right. Calm down. Calm down. I'm dying. Calm I'm down. i got to get away. Oh. Oh. How could you be sure he was telling you this? Oh. Calm down, you're still asleep. Oh. How could you be sure he was telling you this? His eyes. His eyes. I've never seen his eyes before. <laughs> But you said oh. they were friendly. You said they were friendly. Oh, oh no. Not the leaders. I said only... He was looking over his shoulder. Oh, I see. The leader was, was the... friendly. How did you know the other one was the leader? Because everybody moved. Everyone was standing there looking at me. But everybody moved. To these levers or in the back or they went to this big board they look like it, it looked like a board and only this one with the black black shiny jacket in the scarf stayed at the window I'm driving you going back into the car now Yes. <clears throat> you took down your put down your binoculars, did you? I got them down. Yes. And you got into the car. Did you speak to Betty? Getting a hold of myself. I'm saying hold to myself. Now. Don't panic. You got great fortitude. You can drive the car. I told Betty to look out. The object was still around us. I could feel it around us. I saw it when we passed by the object. When I got into the car, it had swung around so that it was out there. I, I, I knew it was out there. Well, it's out there. Betty. I don't 
don't know. Is she saying anything? Are we being robbed? I, I, I don't know. What makes you think you're being robbed? I know it's in my mind and I don't want to say it. Well, you can say it to me. You can say it now. They're men. All with black jackets. And I don't have any money. I, I, I don't have anything. down the road? What's the red? The bright red. Bright red? Yeah. What is that? Orange and red. Where is that? Right down the road. Down the road. And I don't have to be afraid. But they won't talk to me. Who won't talk to you? The men. In the vehicle? No, they are standing in the road. And where are you? You're in the car? No. I'm just suspended. I'm just floating about. Oh, how funny. Uh, I want to get back to the car, but I'm just about. You're really floating about, or is that the way you feel? The way I feel. You're still outside of the car? No. You're in the car. I'm not in the car. I'm not near the car. I'm not in the woods. I'm not on the road. Well, where are these men? I don't know. On the road. I don't know. I'm just floating about. <laughs> oh, geez. That's the funniest thing, Betty. Funniest thing. I never believed in flying saucers, but I don't know. Mighty mysterious. Yeah. Well, I guess I won't say anything to anybody about this. It's too ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's really funny. I wonder where they came from. Oh, jeez, I wish I had gone with them. You wish you had gone with them? Yes. I would have experienced to go to some distant planet. Maybe this will prove the existence of God. Isn't that funny? for the existence of God and other planets. 
Are you scared? I wasn't. No, I wasn't afraid. I wasn't anything anyway. It was a very ridiculous decision when I ain't talking about it. Yeah. Well, he's getting into Portsmouth a little later than I expected. All right, we'll stop there. You'll be calm and relaxed. You will forget everything that we have had this period together until I ask you to recall it again. You'll forget everything we have had done until I ask you to recall it again. You may wake now. Wow. Ten minutes after eight. Didn't you bring me in here ten minutes after eight? Yes. Ten. Where was I? Been right here. Me. Where did my cigarette? Was I about to reach for a cigarette? Look that way. Go ahead and have one. I thought I was coming in here and you asked me to take this seat, this chair, and then I was going to reach for a cigarette. But I never reached for it. So how do you feel? I feel fine. Good. You know what happened here? I know you put me into a trance. I know the purpose of it, but I don't know. That's all right. We'll continue this next week, the week from today. What was it you saw down the highway? I saw a group of men and they were standing in the highway and they came and they assisted me. Okay, who assisted you? These men. They assisted you out of the car? Yeah, what you said. Mm -hmm. I am only thinking of mental pictures because my eyes are closed and I think I am going up a slight incline and my feet are not bumping on the rocks. That's funny. I thought of my feet bumping on the rocks. And they are going up smoothly. But I'm afraid to open my eyes because I am being told strongly by myself to keep my eyes closed and don't open them. And I don't want to be operated on. You don't want to be operated on. What makes you think of an operation? I don't know. You were thinking about this when you were there on the road? I was thinking about this when I was lying on my stomach. Where were you lying on your stomach? I 
I thought I was inside something, but I did not dare open my eyes. I had been told to keep my eyes closed. Who told you that? The man. What man? That I saw through the binoculars. Was this one of the men in the road? No. Well, who were these men in the road? Or what part did they play in this? They took me and carried me up this ramp. Did you feel you were going to be operated on? No. Did you feel you were going to be attacked in any way? No. I was laying on the table. And my fly was open. And I thought, are they putting a cup around my private parts and then it stopped and I thought how funny Speak a little louder, please. I thought, how funny, if I keep real quiet and real still, I won't be harmed and it will be over and am walking and I am walking and am being guided and my eyes are closed and I open my eyes and there is the car and the lights are off and it is not running and Dulcie is under the seat and I reached under and touched her and she is in a tight ball under the seat and I sit back and I see Betty is coming down the road and she gets into the car and I am grinning at her and she is grinning back at me and we both seem so elated and we are really happy and I'm thinking it isn't too bad how funny I have no reason to fear and we look and I see a bright moon and I laugh and say, well, there it goes. <laughs> and I'm happy.